Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. During an emergency situation, Floridians rely on broadcasts from the Division of Emergency Management to receive important information and updates. For Florida's estimated 200,000 adults living with hearing impairments, the televised updates can be crucial. On a broadcast by Manatee County Emergency Management during Hurricane Irma, an unqualified American Sign Language interpreter butchered important evacuation orders. He stopped frequently throughout the broadcast, signing words like pizza, monster, and bear. Even if it's one incident, I mean, that could be thousands of people that get the wrong information. The incident sparked outrage among the deaf community. And everyone was shocked and asking the leaders in the deaf community to do something about it. In light of the blunder, new legislation gaining traction in the legislature would require the Division of Emergency Management to hire state or nationally certified ASL interpreters to translate during weather emergencies. The legislation has the support of deaf organizations who say they're often overlooked by the state. They feel that the state doesn't really take serious enough uh, concerns of the hearing impaired. The Division of Emergency Management says they already use ASL interpreters during their broadcasts, but they say the legislation would ensure accountability on both a state and local level, so only qualified interpreters are used. In Florida, there are 564 ASL interpreters certified by the Registry of Interpreters for the Deaf. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.